And in the next episode, we are going to be playing against Bayern. Our first game is against them, and it will be epic. Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you doing? It is me, Johnny Sports, and yes, we are not going straight into the Bayern game. But as you can see, we are four points behind them, and this game is very important. We need to win this one. And boys, luckily, I finally found a coin sponsor who is represented by some really nice people. FIFACoinsZone.com. They also do cover your EA tax. Use the link in the description and use the code Jenny at checkout. And as you can see, guys, Aryan Robin has eight goals in the Bundesliga and one assist. He is the top player for Bayern Munich. And hopefully he won't be able to score against us. They have some insane players. Their team is just so sick. But right now it is Okazaki in first place in the top scoring list. Followed by Robin Folland who actually wanted to get into the team. And then Chalanolu. So the game is starting off. Bayern Munich versus Bayer Leverkusen. It is... Robin is missing. Holy shit, he is missing. The top scorer of their team is not playing. Thomas Müller playing on the right hand side, which means they still have an 86 rated replacement. So we should not get too happy about that. And it starts off with Schweinsteiger. Out of all the players that could have scored, it was the center midfield player who normally never scores. And I was I was really feeling like fucking hell I'm gonna lose this but Leno what a great save and uh, right after that it was Chalanolu getting a pass on the right hand side cutting inside here and then looking for someone to passing it to Bender with the shot but it gets deflected but now Alcacer gets the pass one on one against Boateng gets past him somehow Boateng too slow to turn and then Alcacer scores 1-1 what a goal to score against Neuer and that wasn't actually one of the best shots Neuer not really reacting like a 90 rated goalkeeper right there but Bayern Munich would not give up they were attacking but Leno had one of the best matches so far for him but I couldn't defend against Ribéry Ribéry getting past everyone except Leno finally man I was waiting for this so long he finally gets to his top form and Alaba hits the post for Bayern Munich 78th minute that was sick now Kramer Papadopoulos and Cruz are joining into the game yes I am subbing in two defensive players because Bayern Munich was just too good 82nd minute Son with the pass Neuer at first wanted to get at it he looks at Cruz he's just too fast Cruz scores what a sick goal, 2-1 it is, and Bayer Leverkusen is actually winning against Bayern Munich, the top team in the Bundesliga. We were able to hold on to this lead, and it is 2-1 in the end for our team. What a sick game, and we have gotten three points closer to the first place of the Bundesliga. Cruz getting into the game and scoring. What an amazing substitution. Everyone else was tired and he was the only player to be able to make that run. And honestly, it was all Neuer's fault. He was not at his top form in that game. And luckily, in this FIFA, goalkeepers tend to be shit. The more high rated they are, you will get more shit coming at you. I honestly, in this FIFA, it's so weird, man. With low rated goalkeepers, I'm doing my fucking best. But with really high rated goalkeepers, they really tend to disappoint me. But at this point, it was time to play against Sporting. And I was playing my low rated team. As you can see right here, Vargas, Bahluli, Brandt, Drimic on the right hand side. Öztunoli in the center defensive midfield position. And as Chalanola is not in this game, it was Drimic taking the free kicks because... He was basically the one with the highest shot power. Drimic getting past the defenders and this time gaining the penalty for Bayer Leverkusen in this Champions League match against Sporting Lisbon. And of course he had to take it himself because the rest of the team just basically sucked at taking shots. And Drimic scores 1-0. 
34th minute. What a great start for the unlucky striker who hasn't been able to score many goals this far. But uh, Sporting wasn't giving up, man. 41st minute, a great header by them. And then in the 47th minute, the second half, 28 yards. It was Drimic taking it. And he shows Jalanolu, mate, I can do what you can do. I can score those free kicks. 28 yards, a great free kick from Drimic. I wasn't expecting him to score, but that one was just perfectly taken. And I was amazed by the way that one went past the goalkeeper. But guys, Sporting wasn't the team to give up right here. They passed it to Nani. Nani looking for Suleimani right here. He gets past all defenders with his pace. Pass it to Martins. And he scores for their team. It is now 2-1 in their home ground and in their home ground at their home ground and it was me making the substitutions once again Cruz joining into the game maybe he could make the difference again he tries to get past the defender and gets fouled in a very funny way it didn't look like a penalty to me and in the end it still was Drimic taking it could score his third goal of this match could he get his hat trick the first one Drimic right here against the goalkeeper takes the shot and scores Rui Patricio didn't have a chance and a lot of you guys suggested that I should actually get rid get rid get rid of my player whose name is Leno and get Rui Patricio but I'm I'm feeling Leno right now he really did well against Bayern Munich but right here we are conceding the second goal. Very big mistake for me in the defense. And it actually got very dangerous. They could have scored the equalizer. I thought that was a penalty right there. The slight tackle was so shit. But then finally the referee blows the whistle. And we have won this game thanks to this guy's three goals. Holy shit. I wasn't expecting any of that. Drimic scoring three goals in one match. That felt like Christmas and birthday all together but guys we have now gotten 10 million from the champions league knockout stages uh, for reaching the knockout stages to be fair and uh, we are going to be spending that money in the shortly upcoming transfer window we are now one point behind Bayern Munich and the only player that has grown by plus three already is Kriakos Papadopoulos and sadly he is a player on the loan so he will be gone by the end of the season but now we have to focus on Borussia Mönchengladbach who are a great team in the Bundesliga they are doing a great job this far and they start off with the first attack in the seventh minute with a header that one was very close but now Shaka what a pass to North White North White pass it to Burke Burke gets past everyone except the goalkeeper that shot was just miserably taken and then it was Traore on the ball passing it to Vent and he will pass it to Kruse who I I actually wanted to get into our team and now he will score after a Xavi pass from the Borussia Mönchengladbach player and Bender with a pass to Bellarabi, Bellarabi with a pass to Alcacer, Alcacer scored this great finishing right there 50 second minute we are equalizing and now it was time to see who is the better team on the pitch it was Cruz on the ball and Leno with a good save but fuck me man I gave away the ball in my defensive area and I really fucking hell how the fuck do I go ahead and save the ball or clear it off the line and then concede a goal that was probably one of the weirdest goals I've conceded so far in this career mode. And now it was time to sub in Drimic in the striking position. Hopefully he will be able to go ahead and score in this game as well. And then it was the 83rd minute as Shaka had the ball once again. An amazing pass to Traore. Traore shoots and Leno gets to it. And then it was the 90th minute as we cross it into Drimic. But sadly that's it guys. 2-1. For Borussia Mönchengladbach, we have lost this game and to be honest, it was a game that we deserved to lose. But we are still in second place of the league. Bayern Munich now four points in front of us again, just like last episode. And yeah, we will see how that one will turn out. But as you can see, this is our schedule. There is only three games left and in the next episode, we will be dropping into the transfer window, guys. We are playing against Erzgebirge Aue and it looks like... Bayern and Schalke are the only two big
big, big teams left in the cup. And after those three games that are left in December, we are joining into January and we have 30 days for the transfer window until we have to play against Borussia Dortmund. We have 8.2 million and 70k in our wage budget. I will probably go ahead and buy one of the players that were in our shortlist already. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, go ahead and smash the like button for this one. And hopefully you have subscribed already and have a really nice day. Peace guys.